all right guys welcome back so we have grabbed the r file like this right uh, just to be safe you can save it uh, by export that you can just save it as a photoshop file so you, you won't lose it anymore and to actually use this guy now use this alpha now you can actually uh, of course you can just use a alpha right pst standard and drive rectangular and choose that alpha and um, you can then try that on our model I need some subdivisions. I actually don't want that to happen anywhere, but let, let's just try that. Can do a few steps. Okay, and then we can drag that out. You can see that we can now duplicate that alpha on the model. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, but some of the limitations of this uh, drag alpha way is that uh, first of all, uh, oh. Yeah, let me do some tweaking actually to that R. Uh, let me open that. Grab here. I don't need the other two dragons on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Okay, maybe I can even smooth the edge. Maybe I can't. Maybe I can just crop the edge and fill that in. Okay. And maybe one more time. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. Anyway. Uh, just get rid of the, uh, the, the black area and control S to save it. Go back here and import that alpha. Could be better because I don't have the two sets, so I can drag this guy out. Anyway, no matter how I do it, it's not going to be very easy to fit this in into this part here. Right? Into my uh, this part, let me turn on symmetry here. Actually. And it's also that's why you <laughs> go to the transform and you see right, that's correct. Oops, I guess they cancel each other too. It goes to the brush and uh, turn out the back face masking. Turn on the back face masking. It's going to allow me to do both sides. So, matter, but no matter how I do it, it's not going to be easy to tell the uh, Z brush and you know where exactly I want those guys to be in. Right? Uh, so you can actually do it a little differently this time. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is instead of using a alpha, which is actually pretty much going to be one of the ways you will use, right? Then it's okay to use that, of course. Um, but, but another more precise way of doing this is going to be uh, you use uh, uh, the spotlight. So let me go to the texture and load that. Actually, I can do that. Our uh, texture from uh, oops, not there. Uh, go alpha, make texture. That's how you do that. Go back to texture here. Grab that and press the plus button. That's going to allow that. Uh, I'll convert that into a, a texture that I can uh, project. And then I can use this to project where the dragon is. Uh, so let me make it bigger and uh, let's look at other things. Actually, I don't, I don't really think I need that to be there. don't know. Uh, uh, I want to show you this technique, but I don't think it's gonna fit in somewhere on my model though. <laughs> Let me take a look at uh, some of the parts. Where do I put it? Mm. This is really not no proper place to put it. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna do that here, right on this guy, just to show you how you do that. But maybe I will choose to not using it at all eventually. Uh, but I'm gonna just put it right here. So the benefit again using the uh, spotlight is that you can use it. This is actually the nudge. What nudge does, uh, let me change the size bigger, is that it can it actually allows you. Oops. I think ZBrush crashes. Darn it! I'm gonna restart ZBrush and we can get back right away. Okay. So I'm back. Let me go ahead and uh, reload that texture uh, because I saved it. So I can go to texture and uh, go import. Right, I can import that on my uh, document that I saved earlier. Right, and again go to texture, grab that, and add that as uh, the 
as a resource and uh, let me actually pass away that to rotate it to match it with my model here and maybe I can actually uh, uh, make it go through here I want the dragon head to be over here anyway so again I can use this uh, notch brush to actually push things around again that's the power right? that's the power of this workflow so that you can then nudge it to fit it better with your model okay so maybe I want it to be closer there and maybe I want it to be finished there right so I can do these things now because oops uh, because I can use this uh, notch brush just be aware that when you drag outside of it it's not gonna work so drag it inwards and make the brush smaller and do some tweaking here and there okay and I can then change the spotlight radius just so that I can see the brush and press the Z button and I can draw out that oops I'm gonna actually draw as a RGB color not the ad so that I can just draw that out okay and the benefit is of course I can repeat this thing right uh, maybe on the top again so maybe here I can be doing something similar okay, I can draw that out and nicely blend it with the bottom parts okay so again yeah, exact control is the power uh, of these two all right okay so let's say I'm happy with this of course maybe I don't need this but just want to show you this workflow more or less uh, all, all right so I'm gonna actually um, shift Z to turn off spotlights I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, masking and mask by color and mask by uh, intensity here. I'm going to use the brightness of the uh, PTAX color information as the alpha. I can go ahead and turn off the polypaint so that I can see the alpha. And I can use inflate to inflate the color out. Okay. All right. Actually, this is not bad. <laughs> I think I can use it. Uh, it doesn't look bad at all. All right. I'm going to keep this guy then. And let me clear the, uh, clear the alpha. I think I can even make it even stronger by uh, inflating a little bit more. All right, cool. Oops. Need to do that at once though. Okay, clear that. And can also turn on the color red again. Okay. And of course, I need to do some tweaking. Uh, somewhere here and there because uh, my blade seems to have to not wide enough now so I need to do that let me go ahead and select my blade and uh, go all the way down to subdivision level one I'm gonna also mask the top parts including my blade uh, slow set right and I'm gonna use uh, transpose to so that I can uh, just stretch it out at the bottom okay, let's go cover it mm. a little bit more here just drag it out yeah or I can push this guy in yeah that's better for sure oh before I do that I uh, go back to this guy actually don't like uh, the uh, <clears throat> this part to be squeezed out so I'm gonna mask that all right and then I can use transpose tokens make it wider okay and for this guy I'm gonna squeeze it in here in the middle whoa it's going it's changed a little bit all right that's better I'll turn on the symmetry oh that's why <laughs> Sorry, and go use that and push these guys in. Turn out leveling so I can actually see it being changed. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the turn out the colorize. Turn on the leveling and take a look. 
Okay, so after the submit bar, it becomes some really fun detailed, uh, you know, sculpted uh, parts that I can maybe texture it later, but for now, this is actually uh, kind of cool already. <laughs> Still not gonna be really nice. I think maybe I can block some of the parts. Mm, this is not bad, but maybe also not good enough. I'm being picky here about those things, but you know, it's, it's good to be picky right, as an artist. It's always good to be picky about the stuff you do. All right, so let's say this is good, and maybe I can even give it some more strapping here and there to make it look more convincing. Maybe some stuff here from the front to the middle and here. All right, just to break up this edging here that doesn't look nice enough. I can of course uh, do some tweaking on this guy. Not sure what do I do with it yet. Oh, as long as I think it's it's being changed to an organic shape more or less. Maybe I can enhance that here and there. Still not sure what to do with this <laughs> detail yet, but just some detailing technique that I want to show you one more time. Okay, that's it. That's gonna be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna try to do some more designs that I want to maybe uh, change how this looks like. I don't quite like the result I'm getting, but I like I really like how the detail turns out to be. Uh, it's just they're not fading, I guess. Okay, see you next time.